I would say a student coming to Bluegrass is a student who is focused on getting out and getting into the job market as quickly as possible with technical skills required uh, in the job market. And they come to uh, uh, Bluegrass Community and Technical College because we've got good classes, good opportunities, and the cost of our classes are, are very good. And again, we have students that go out and get very lucrative, very good positions, very good jobs uh, with a technical education that they can get here. Our focus is for students to come in and to be able to get the education, to get that technical background so that they can go out and to pursue a job in a relatively short time, two years versus four years or five years at a uh, at a college or a university. Where jobs are changing, some job areas are closing down. One of those areas that continues to dominate, one of those areas that even continues to grow is in the technical field. Jobs that are in technical areas continue to grow and for a student to go out and get a job or a person to go out and get a job in those technical areas needs the background, they need the education to relate, they understand those technical areas. And so that's why they're coming here is that they aren't looking for that four-year degree, but they're looking for the technical background that they need uh, to get that degree. The other thing that would help them is from the standpoint of an employer, the student by getting the degree here is letting the employer know first of all that they have that technical background and second that they know how to go in, they know how to focus on a program, they know how to learn so that the employer when they hire them on knows that they know how to learn, that if they send them for further training which a lot of our students have, a lot of employers do then here's someone who's proven that they know how to learn, that they can get that, uh, or they can learn that subject, or they can learn that additional thing that they need to for their job. Strengths in the program is it gonna be our focus on the technical areas, our focus to getting a person out, getting them into a good degree. Uh, I think advantage of our program is the care of the, the instructors, they care for their students, they care that what they're uh, teaching is something that will be of benefit to the students, that will help the students to get out and get that job, and so they care about their students, that I think sometimes gets lost with, uh, say, someone in another college, and so for our program, we really care for the students. I teach the basic in electronics or basic electricity, the introduction to electricity, the basic laws that govern and govern the movement of electrons through a circuit or the movement of current flow through a circuit. And so for our program uh, in the manufacturing industrial technology program, all of our classes require students to have a basic understanding of voltage, current, resistance, and the relationship to each other. And so the classes, or the class that I teach, is an introduction into that so that the students, again, can go into their different areas with a, a basic understanding of electricity and current flow. After completing the program, our, by definition, our program is to give students a background in technical areas. And so you have a wide range of jobs in the technical area. Again, as I mentioned uh, earlier, that one of the areas in our economy, in our country, that's growing is in the technical field. And so these jobs are going to be related to that technical field, be they jobs in electronics, jobs in computers, jobs in uh, industrial maintenance, maintaining equipment in uh, facilities, or even jobs as an electrician going out and working as an electrician either in, in new construction or existing construction. And so again, a wide range of areas that our students would have uh, opportunities. 
The first thing is that uh, Bluegrass focuses on applying technology to do workforce tasks. So, you know, if you go to the university before you get into any of this kind of thing that you would actually do in industry, you'd have to be out of college. Um, this is not what a general university does. If you're, if you're interested in engineering, you're interested in designing one of these elements, you're not actually interested in applying one of these elements. So it, you almost have to have a master's or bachelor's, PhD, if you're at that level. And if you do have a bachelor's degree, you're going to do on-the-job training anyway. You're just not really prepared for that. Next the program are hands-on applications, focused on what business and industry is looking for today. We adapt with changes in technology, we are actively involved with our advisor committee, and we are trying to keep our finger on the pulse of what is needed out in the workforce. I am currently teaching motor controls too, and programmable logic controllers. And this is an example of what I work with day in and day out. This is uh, what we would do in motor controls too. Motor controls one, you would learn about the basic elements that are in here, like fuse disconnect, fuses, tra control transformers, motor starters, control relays. You know, you would get into that a little bit about the frequency drive. In this course, we actually put them into cabinets and we work with them and you rewire. So you see that this student has actually wired in a control cabinet for any number of applications. And it's all controlled by this device down here, which is a programmable logic controller. A PLC is like the brains behind industry. It is what automation works off of. So this PLC literally is, I could program it to do, to run this cabinet in an infinite number of variations. How, when to turn the motors on, when to go forward, when to go reverse. So Motor Controls 1 covers the basic concepts. Motor Controls 2 gets into a lot greater detail and gets into setting up motors to do any number of things. It's, uh, to, to describe it as like how many ways can you drive your car, that's how many ways we can control a motor. And that's what we do in Motor Controls 2. So it gets, you know, this is exactly pretty much what you see in industry. The only difference is in industry you can see the same amount of thing packed into a much tighter space. So there's a skills aspect involved. <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks to take a wire and get it into a little terminal strip like this. There is a, there's a hand, eye, feel aspect to it. And then there's also learning what, what colors a wire to use, how to connect it in, how to label it, the mechanical part. And then really, especially, is what does each one of these devices do and when you need to use them. A lot of students go to work in this, in this area. If they're interested in manufacturing, they can go straight to work in this area. Um, there's also, if you're interested in the motors and the mechanical part, you can do the industrial maintenance technology program and really focus on hydraulics, pneumatics, gears, chains, drive systems. There are those that, that go towards the electronic side in which they focus on like a frequency drive. Now this is a relatively low cost frequency drive. You may see something in Toyota or in industry that is almost the size of this cabinet that you would not just throw away, you would actually repair. Somebody that wanted to focus on electronics with industrial maintenance may work on a bench repairing this kind of drive rather than buying a whole new $15,000 drive. Um, the person that works more towards the mechanical side would work on replacing three-phase motors or replacing drive systems, aligning drive systems. So you could specialize where they would go to work. Right now the demand is pretty high. Um, there are a number of people looking for our graduates in entry-level spots that are paying $15 to $17 an hour. And that is really today, March 2007, or March 2008 even. And, um, and that's going to vary with stronger and weaker markets. Uh, Lexington area, we're, we're looking at like 10 double-digit growth over the next couple of years, including manufacturing growth. So it's a really good job market.